Hey there, it's the Free Beer and Hot Wings Show, and man, you all are lucky tonight. You've tuned in right at the perfect time to catch the final episode of this season's Homegrown Happy Hour with Ben Davis Jr. And guess what? You even get a t-shirt to commemorate the event. I call it a vent because I don't have time to say event. I would say a vent, yeah. Listen for Ben to tell you how. <laughs> so, listen, sit back, relax, and enjoy the next hour of Homegrown. Rising talent performing all original songs. Live from the porch at Rowdies in Jackson. Sit outside on your porch. Everyone there is. The show's creator, Porterhouse, has impressed us by showing that he still has enough brain cells to hatch such an amazing idea. Although, James Hammy Hamilton is the real smart one. Hammy! 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 Thanks to Nathan Kitts and Rowdy Smokehouse for hosting the show and the hospitality. The best pork, brisket, and chicken in Southern Ohio. Remember, pork the one you love. Yes, pork. Tonight's show is brought to you by rent to own of Jackson, hometown Chevy of Waverly, Howard Hanna Real Estate Services, Donna McNerland Group, and by Gallia Jackson Miggs, Adam H. Board with special thanks to Dunaway Motorsports Garage and Sixth Sense Brewing Company. And now, live from the porch at Rowdy Smokehouse, this week's special guest, straight out of Miggs County, Jake Dunn. And now your host of Homegrown Happy Hour, the one and only Ben Davis Jr. <laughs> Seven WYRO. I'm Ben Davis Jr. Real happy to be with you here at Rowdy Smokehouse. And let's uh, go ahead and go no further without letting you know who this guy over here sitting in the shadows is. This is my buddy Jake Dunn. I've said it each week. These folks are my dearest friends, man. And it's really special to me that they've gotten to come and be a part of this show. Uh, Jake Dunn and I have been roommates in multiple locations, man. We've lived together successfully a few times. And... Uh, 
We've worked together. We've played music together. We've ridden bicycles together. We've done all kinds of fun stuff. But, man, he is so good at writing songs. And uh, I'm just so proud of everything that he's done, man. He just opened up for uh, Trace Adkins recently, man. Yeah. But this is my friend Jake Dunn. Wow, thanks, Ben. That was nice. <laughs> you, didn't, you, you said a lot of nice things about me, man. I appreciate that very much. Um, hello, everybody. How's it going? Happy to be here. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm honored to be here, to be honest. This is great. Uh, it's super cool uh, what, what you know, Rowdy's and Ben and everybody's doing on here. Uh, so I just want to start off by saying thanks so very much. Um, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll just take off and uh, play a song for you here. Uh, this is a song that I wrote a long time ago, um, just about uh, just kind of hanging on and, uh, you know, when you're feeling low and not really knowing how to tell somebody that you need a little bit of help, you know, just kind of hoping that they'll realize it one of these days. It's called Slipping Away. Hey 
dripping wings Thank you very much. That's a beautiful song, Jake Dunn. Thanks, Ben. Absolutely. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I can't go any further without talking about my friends. I just met this evening, but I've been talking about them a few weeks. They're doing some cool stuff. The, the Gallia Jackson of Meigs County Adam H. Border right there. They're right there. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I got to talk about a couple things they got. So this is just a couple days away. October 29th, Drug Take Back Day. This is where you bring all your expired stuff, all your sharps, things that you don't think of, or pet medicines, because we got to get rid of that stuff safely and, uh, you know, kind of put a damper on prescription drug abuse and drug abuse, substance abuse in general. So let's do that. And then also on the 31st, right, uh, yeah, they're going to do this thing uh, walking. It's the Red Ribbon Walk, and... The Reggie, the drug free DJ, is going to be there. That's a cool thing. You just need to check it out. I'm sure that you can search for them online. Check it out and uh, uh, check that event out. Just check it out. Check it out. <laughs> check it out. All right. So, Jake, uh, that was a touching number. What, what do you got next for us? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play some new stuff tonight. That was a song I wrote a, a long time ago. I mean, it's, it's hard. Uh, it's, you know, six or seven years ago, probably, that song's been... Uh, written, but uh, this is a song that I probably wrote within this year. So, right on. yeah. Well, thanks for uh, coming here, by the way, man. Oh, Thank man. you so much for traveling all the way from West Virginia. <laughs> that's not, it's so far. That's not, I, I, I'm in I'm in Belpre, Oh, Belpre, I yeah, forgot. But it's it's right it's right on the it's right on the Ohio River. So. Well, you still yeah. take the 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 general. Uh, culture is there yeah, right. yes yes yeah all right sure. anyways yeah, yeah. yeah well you know speaking of the general culture uh, you know that's kind of this this song right here uh this this song is about how uh, you know basically uh you know the uh, you get to thinking about when the the news comes on and the weather you know reports looking bad and it's looking like we're about to get a snowstorm everybody's going to the supermarket buying up all the all the milk and the bread and everything like that right so it's kind of about how people take uh, news a little bit and kind of blow it out of proportion. It's called I Can't Take Much More. In the app, I'm thinking about skipping town, moving to the country and settling down. Have a couple kids and just take it all slow Focus on the moment and letting it go So don't sell me nothing Cause I won't take it Just don't sell me anything at all Don't sell me nothing I can't take can I can't take much more Someone told me yesterday the world's at an end Probably makes it easy on them to play pretend But lately I've been thinking life is pretty dang good Even when I'm helping in my neighborhood So don't sell me nothing I won't take it Don't you sell me anything at all Don't sell me And I can't take much more
Some dude on the TV says it's looking rough but Then all of your neighbors start to stocking it up Buying up the toilet paper and all the bread Can't clean up your butter, have some toast with your eggs So don't sell me nothing, I won't take it just don't sell me anything at all Don't sell me nothing I won't take it Cause I can't take much more Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. You guys are too kind. Yeah. Do another uh, another new song for you here. Uh, this is you know I've been I've been kind of making up songs like I said for a long time now and uh, you know it, it's uh, it feels good to kind of uh, feel this kind of new inspiration I've had recently. You know COVID kind of drained a lot of a lot of stuff out of everybody. Uh, but I know for me, it was a big kind of inspirational decline. But, uh, you know, this past year has been good. It's been nice. I feel like a lot of people are on the up and up. This is great. And, uh, you know, uh, it, it's good to be writing songs again. So this is a new song that kind of is kind of the same vein of that last tune. Uh, just about kind of, you know, things out there aren't as bad as what they seem. You know what I mean? And uh, that's, uh, that's what this song's about. It's called Charades. <laughs> Doesn't it feel sometimes like each day is the same over and over again? That just don't seem right to me. It's like I'm hardly even living. And what would that mean to be alive? Well, I'm not sure what that is like, but I've had dreams. I could fly and life felt so serene Things aren't what they seem to be Ooh. Things aren't what they seem to be I want to be today to emulate all my deepest and darkest dreams photographs on a screen I'm watching you but someone else is watching me and they're watching you too it's inescapable and very hard to believe it's kind of like a dream I can't fly and life ain't so serene Things aren't what they seem to be Ooh. Things aren't what they seem to be When each day I think to I'll just make believe Now all I can 
can think about it What to do if this whole world came crashing down I just don't know It would be so hard just to let it go Cause things aren't what they Jake Dunn, ladies and gentlemen. Jake, remember how you were telling me you were wanting to buy a new Chevrolet vehicle? I do, Ben. Well, Absolutely. I know some people who can help you, and they're right there. So you're going to shake their hands it. after this and buy a car from your hometown Chevrolet. Yeah. Yeah. Jake's new vehicle is coming from uh, there, and uh, he's going to get service there, and it's going to come with a free 10-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty and two years free maintenance. And you get to choose from 300 vehicles, Jake. Okay. 300 vehicles. Wow, let's talk. Yeah, yeah, you got to go over there. Yeah. He rolled in on a Geo Tracker. It's got one wheel left on it, man. <laughs> so they work with all credit types, and I know that uh, that's concerning to you because you expect a transparent buying process. They offer that. That's good. Uh, yeah. yeah, our friends at your hometown Chevrolet, they got... Three convenient locations, Ironton, Waverly, and Chillicothe. So go to one of those and see them. Please. Yeah. Your hometown, Chevrolet. Right on. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to play, keep playing some new stuff. Uh, like I said, I've just, I've just had this kind of burst of inspiration over the past couple months. I, I hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, you know, it's a little bit of uh, a different kind of uh, sound that I'm, I'm normally accustomed to. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to kind of just explore. You know, you never know what's going to come out when you're writing a song. You can ask Ben. Uh, it's never always the same thing twice. Um, so, yeah. Going to play another new song here. This song, I, you know, I, I often write songs about dreams I have. I don't dream very often, but when I do dream, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty odd. Um, so this song is uh, uh, dream inspired and uh, that's the name of the song. It's called Kinda Like a Dream, okay? So yeah. Enough, but I might be giving in. I think I've had enough. Can you tell me how it ends? Silence ain't an answer, so don't just shake your head. Kind of like a dream that I can't remember. Just to hand me down, what you see is what you get. It's really all there is. Silence ain't an 
Jake Dunn, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Jake, you remember that one time? Uh, it was just thinking about how chilly it is and also thinking about the fact that it's Halloween in just a few days. It's got me thinking about that time you took me to Athens for the block party, and I went as Grammy Davis Jr. <laughs> I was an old lady. If you could just imagine Ben, but just as a sweet old grandma. Yeah, and I was out at all these bars having a good old time. It was wonderful. Yeah. I didn't get to hang out very long, though. Uh, I, got, I caught some kind of a nausea real early in the evening and started vomiting. I think you might have been allergic to that stuff. I was allergic to the alcohol, I think. And then it's, you just can't do that, you know? Anyways, I was thinking about that over there by the fire. Thought I'd bring that up on it's the air. It's good times. Why not? Yeah, it's good times. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, it's kind of funny because speaking of good times, uh, that's what this next song is about, you know, uh, just very, you know, reminiscent of the good times. You know, uh, you can't stop getting older, and I feel like the older you get, the more you kind of reminisce about the past, and it seems like, you know, those memories just tend to often get brighter and brighter as, as you age. So uh, uh, that's what this song is all about. <laughs> called keep on keeping on because that's really all you got to do right just keep on going let's go back now look the days when we were young before the world was more than just a dream and when they'd sleep at night it was when we lived our lives and we believed we could take on anything oh and we tried Yes, we tried. Now I've heard it said that all those dreams I did, but I refuse to indulge in such a thing. No, I've had regrets, secrets that I've kept. The whole world was no more than a dream But I've never lied Days are gone Where now lies felt so
go back, my love, to the days when we were young. But then why does this life still feel like a dream? Oh, when time will march us on, and then someday we'll be gone. So let us hope that all of this means something. So uh, many years ago, I moved to Pomeroy, Ohio on a whim. You know, I, I had been there in my younger years, in my teenage years, and I'd seen some other bands that I liked there. And uh, I moved there to go and meet those guys and, and kind of hang out with them. And I uh, ended up living with some of those guys, uh, Dustin Nash and Brad Jones. And when I was doing that, this, this kid came over uh, who was a little brother to Dustin. And uh, one day, uh, Jake came over too, man, and uh, Jake brought a banjo, and, and it was the first time I met him, and we, I started singing songs, he started playing too, and we went back and forth, and it was a beautiful thing, it was, it was really special. Well, well so you, you bring up Dustin's little brother, okay, so I'd also brought over some other musical equipment of mine, okay, you know, Ben's apartment was, uh, you know, uh, kind of scenic enough that where you could play music really loud in there and have a drum set and, and hit drums real hard and your neighbors wouldn't get upset. So oh, yeah. I played drums as real well hard. and I brought over my, my dr some of my drum stuff and included were some cymbals. Well, cymbals are pretty expensive musical equipment, right? Well, these were kind of old, but anyhow, I got to Ben's place one day and I had just recently met Ben. We just became friends and Ben goes, man... Dustin's little brother, Andrew, he, he broke your cymbals, dude. And he goes, I'm sorry. Like, he was playing on them, and they, they got busted. Those and I was kids. Like, I was like, you know what, man? It's not that big a deal. They were kind of old, but you know what? This kid needs to learn a lesson, so I'm going to really give it to him. I'm going to chew this kid out. I'm going to give this, you know. So I, I did. I said, Andrew, how dare you disrespect my stuff? You need to take, you know, you need to respect other people's things, young man, yada, yada, yada. You and I let him, man. I did, I did. I felt bad for the kid, he, but he deserved it. Well, the thing is, is we hung out for the rest of the evening and played music, and then later on in the evening, Ben goes, hey, man, I just wanted to let you know, I, 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 I didn't really know you very well, but I just wanted to tell you, I actually was the one that broke your cymbals. <laughs> <laughs> it was me, man. I broke your cymbals. <laughs> But he still hung out, man. He wasn't mad at me. No, like, I thought oh, it was hilarious. No I big thought it was deal, so dude. funny. Yeah, he cracked up laughing, and we, we, we stayed friends. And then um, not long after that, uh, I was working for this company called Rent to Own, and I was working there for a while, you know. And uh, Jacob, I had moved to Marietta and gotten my first management gig at Rent to Own, and Jacob needed a job, so I hired him and moved him into my apartment so that I could have a cool delivery driver and which, a good roommate. Which goes to show it's not what you know, it's who you know. Yeah. And so uh, Rent to Own was something that held us together. For sure. And so I've got this song right here. Yeah. <laughs> Rent to Own is the way to do it. Come on in, there's nothing to it. A brand new look, the easy way. Rent to Own can do it today. Your family's gone. Love you for it. It's time to rent to one. Ben Davis Jr., ladies and gentlemen. Now back to your sponsored entertainment. I mean, how do you follow up that? Good grief. I'm so sorry, everybody. That's my fault. All right. Uh, so this song is a. Uh, <coughs> This is another new song. I'll tell you a little quick tale before I play it. 
uh, <clears throat> this song is about uh, uh, a little bit to do with, uh, you know, you ever, uh, you ever have a conversation with somebody and, uh, you know, you're saying, oh, hey, have you ever seen or read this particular book? And, and, uh, and I'm guilty of it myself. And you'll just go, yeah, I definitely have. And you've never heard of it before in your entire life, but you don't want to admit that you've never read this book or seen this movie, right? So, uh, you know, that's kind of what this is a little bit about. Uh, and it, uh, it also has a lot to do with about, uh, you know, at the same time that that seems to be a thing that just is a common thing in life. And life is very cyclical, you know. It just seems like things happen kind of over and over again. Uh, and uh, that's, that's what this song is called. It's called Over and Over Again. Every day I feel a little better A little bit better than before Something about living when you're closer to dying Makes you want to live a little more Think I'll go back to Ohio Think I'll go and see my friends Think I'll start from the beginning Start it all over again Well, they say time is a flat circle That's right, I've read some Nietzsche too Well, truth be told, I've just seen True Detective From that show, I learned a thing or two you can't trust all your neighbors Sometimes you can't even trust your friends Think I'll go back to the beginning Start it all over again I don't know anything at all I don't know I'm done with all this nonsense Think it's all but done with me Cause every time I try to string a line or two together I just end up in misery Think I'll go back to Ohio Think I'll go and see my friends Stop and see my pa and my dear mother Start it all over again Start it all over again Over and over again Thank you. What do you think of that, Jake? That's sharp. I want one real bad, actually. This is really what uh, Jake will wear to his next anniversary dinner with Maddie. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. This is a Homegrown Happy Hour 2022 t-shirt. It features all four acts that performed here at Rowdy Smokehouse, along with our sponsors. These are available for a limited time, $15. Yeah, right now, right over here. And they have a few of them left, only a couple, so you better rush over there. <laughs> There's only a hundred left. <laughs> but 
They could take card tonight. You can order them uh, online, purchase it, local pickup if you want. You can do whatever you want. Just come over here and get you a T-shirt, man. Uh, they have sizes from uh, Youth XL to Quadruple X. I'm just kidding. I'm, I, I definitely blew it. I blew it, James. But buy a shirt, ladies and gentlemen, please. Small to 3X. All right. Oh, just uh, a few more, Jake. Yeah, we got we got time for plenty more, dude. Uh, okay. Definitely do this one, and we'll see where that takes us. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> right on. What's the story behind this one, man? Yeah, well, okay. Give me, I'm gonna take a sip here. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to take a second to thank Six Cents Brewing for sure. They're one of my favorite places here in yeah. town. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. They provide beverages. Delicious beverages. And fine. Eatery, <laughs> a fine eatery for Jackson County. All right, Absolutely. Jake yeah. Dunn. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Yeah, so, uh, you know, ben, ben, you know, brought out the shirt. He said anniversary with Maddie. Maddie's my, my lovely wife. She's sitting right back there in the white hat next to my mother, in between my mother and my father, who are also here. And, uh, yeah, when I first moved to Marietta, uh, you know, because of the rent own gig that Ben hooked me up with so graciously, uh, we... Uh, you know, we had been living in this apartment on uh, the corner of 3rd and Montgomery, and we were not too far from a place in Marietta called the Adelphia Music Hall, and back at the, yeah, at the time, they, every Wednesday, would have an open mic night. And, uh, you know, Ben, we're talking, hanging out one night, and he's like, hey, man, you know, I hear that the Adelphia, they have this, this cool open mic down there. I said, oh, yeah, that sounds cool. Right on. Yeah, we should check it out. And he's like, all right, cool. So the day comes, you know, that the, you know, the open mic's going to happen, and I, you know, I'm getting ready to go, and, and Ben's like, no, I, I, I'm okay, man, why don't you go check it out and let me know what it's like. You know I don't like doing stuff, man. <laughs> That's probably what I he said. He bailed, all right? He bailed. Dude bailed on me, all right? But I went there that night, and I met a lot of very talented uh, musicians from southeastern Ohio, uh, you know, so many great people. Uh, a lot of the people I met, or several of the people I met, I went and uh, played with uh, my band, uh, the Blackbirds, uh, for many years with. And uh, uh, on stage with the drummer of the Blackbirds uh, singing uh, Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah uh, was, uh, you know, the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my whole life, who is now my lovely wife, uh, Miss Madeline Dunn back there. And uh, she's, yeah, absolutely. She's also a wonderful musician and performer, and uh, I'm very glad that Ben sort of tricked me into going to that open mic because that was where I met her, and, and uh, it forced me also to write a, a lot more songs uh, to, one, you know, uh, impress her, uh, and uh, two, you know, to just have songs to play at that open mic. So, uh, you, know, once we had, uh, you know, once we had got together and started dating, I, uh, I came up with this song, and it's, uh, it's very much... Uh, about her and dedicated to her. It's called My Evangeline. for you, baby. I can't tell you what's coming next. Wedding here's enough to drive me crazy. It's pulling like a rope. Evangeline, you 
might be the best girl I have ever seen My Evangeline Oh, and I will always love you, Evangeline And I thought Sure, you had enough of me. Not in New York City when I lost track. But you just held my hand and you made me see everything that I've been holding back. Oh, my. Evangeline, you're so good to me, my Evangeline. You might be the best girl I have ever seen, my Evangeline. Oh, and I will always love you, Evangeline. Jake Dunn on Homegrown Happy Hour, right here live on Pure Rock 98.7 WYRO. We're live from Rowdy's Smokehouse. Thank you guys so much at Rowdy Smokehouse for having us here. Thanks to Total Media for putting this together and Zip Printing for everything they have done for us, making these t-shirts that you can purchase online at yourtotalmedia.com slash shop. Go there, buy a t-shirt. Seriously, I'm going to say it 15 more times tonight. And then, uh, 14... Oh, yeah. Yourtotalmedia.com slash shop. Dot shop? Oh, well, that's weird. Yourtotalmedia.shop. Or you can go to yourtotalmedia.com, click the little thingy, find the shop. The shirt's right there, man. It's right there. Uh, okay. And then that's pretty much it for the special thanks. Uh, now just regular thanks. We've got to thank our friend Donna McNerlin, uh, Howard Hanna, realtor. You know, that's a, a wonderful thing. Uh, she is... Uh, in multiple places at once. I've said that for three weeks now. I'm going to stick to it. I'm into it, man. I'm, I'm trying to catch up with her and figure out how she's doing it like a magician. But if you're a realtor, if you're trying to buy a house, if you have any questions at all, she has programs that can work for you to help you get your first house. You can trade in your apartment somehow. It's, it's crazy. You can do all this crazy stuff and get your house from Donna McNerlin at Howard Hanna. Do it right away, right away. And then, uh, Jake Dunn, we got time for one more from you. Yeah. When are you buying a house from Donna McNerland? <laughs> Not for a while. Okay, okay. <laughs> but it would be nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just, you know, I just want to say another, uh, you know, another thank you all for listening. And, and you guys have been great. And, and, you know, thanks to Rowdies and Ben and, and you know, to everybody for having me. It's been very wonderful. Uh, just so much fun. So thank you, thank you. <laughs> 
Uh, this last song I'll play for you tonight. Uh, this last song I'll play for you tonight is a, a song I wrote a, a long time ago when I was playing uh, on the road a lot with uh, with the Blackbirds, and uh, it's just about being on the road and um, you know just kind of traveling around and uh, you know uh, just kind of feeling a little displaced, uh, you know, and 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 uh, not just even out on the road, but even displaced. Uh, in your own home, you know, feeling like wherever you're at uh, isn't quite where you're supposed to be. Uh, so that's what this song is about. Uh, it's a title track off of a, a you know, a, a Blackbirds record that we put out that's out there, so you can check it out online. It's called Nowhere Feels Like Home. I've been rolling back the mile I've been on the road for days I've been searching far and wide Trying hard to find my place Trying hard just to stay I broke down in Alabama And I found myself in the Carolinas And I'm heading west for Arizona over oh, been longing for my girl Cloudy heart and cloudy mind I woke up in a different world Than the one I left last night Broke my heart in Ohio And I found myself in West Virginia And I'm heading west for Colorado oh, But nowhere feels like home Take me in tonight Let me rest my weary bones Cause I've been searching far and wide And I'm longing to go home Come and set my soul. Oh, I broke my heart in Ohio, and I found myself in West Virginia, and I'm heading west for Colorado, but no. Virginia and I'm 
Jake Dunn, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you. make sure you stick around. He's got another whole set for you for nothing, for free. And uh, this one right here, we're going to try to make it work in two minutes and 23 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. I'm coming home to you, mama. I'm coming back again. Know that you've been trying not to wonder where I've been. But I'm coming home to you, girl. I ain't got no place to go. Yes, I think I'm out of money, I'm out of whiskey for sure. I left your house with my guitar on my back, bought myself a fast car, then headed on that track. You know, I headed out from Nashville, I ain't eat up in Buffalo. You know, I think I'm out of money, I'm out of whiskey for sure. Out of whiskey, this jug is as dry as a bowl. You know I've been spending all my money just trying to leave you alone. Getting gone and staying stone. Yes, I'm smoking my last cigarette while I'm riding on this train, girl. I think I'm going crazy because I know that you already said. Yes, I'm coming home to you. I ain't got no place to go. Hey, I think I'm out of money. I'm out of whiskey for sure. Yes, I think I'm out of money. so much ladies and gentlemen thanks for listening to homegrown happy hour we can't wait to be back in the spring with you buy a t-shirt we'll ship it to you your total media dot shop i said it right james and uh everybody else come buy one right there thank you so much love you thank you all again god bless you have a good night I've been thinking about something the last few days When I get to thinking about you and your loving way It's been a little while we've been knocking around I think it's time to take you back to my hometown I'm gonna show you my roots If you and me gonna be in cahoots Like a tree on a bank of the Ohio River I'm gonna show you my roots Did I tell you about the time I wrecked my bike And I got this scar on my lip But when I cast my line into the old spillway On my first fishing trip Did I tell you about the time I got lost in the woods Hitched my way back in To the town on the streets I called my own And then I did it all over again I'm gonna show you my roots you and me gonna be in cahoots like a tree on a bank of the Ohio River. I'm gonna show you my roots.